Don't you wish you could look a little cooler doing TikTok dances in Roblox? Have you ever wondered how to make clothing in Roblox? Do you wish making a shirt could be easier in Roblox? Then let me show you how I made these shirts for the Macaroni Club and how you can download my template to make your own shirts after you subscribe while the intro plays. Oh, also, please buy the Macaroni Club merch to show your support. Link in the description. Hey, what's up Macaroni Club? Today, I'm gonna show you how to use my template pack to create your own shirt designs. I'm using GIMP to edit the shirts. It's like Photoshop, but free and open source. If you have Photoshop, you can still open up the project file. Link in the description to download GIMP for free. In the template, I've included eight shading templates, five rendered example shirts, four fill designs, the Roblox shirt template, a black outline, and my watermarked outline. To show you how simple this pack is, I'm going to not use the project file and just start with the Roblox shirt template by right clicking it and opening with GIMP. Next, I drag the black outline over it to leave just the shirt visible. I also put my watermark on top to remind you to subscribe. I made the watermark invisible, selected just the black color of the outline, and inverted the selection. I made a new layer and filled in the selection with green using the paint bucket. This is where you would start designing the colors and whatnot. I went back into the pack, chose the first hoodie shading template, and dragged that in. I zoomed in by holding the control button and scrolling, and selected the end of the hoodie I want to cut off. The shading doesn't go all the way down the arm, so we can make the rest transparent or invisible, so that way our character's skin will show. Hit delete and you'll get rid of the selection. You can also do this with the eraser tool if that's easier for you. I left the Roblox shirt template on by accident, so I made it invisible. Because the shading is kind of dark on this color, I selected the shading layer and lowered the opacity. This makes the shading more see-through and not as dark. I also made sure to make the watermark visible again, just to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'm just messing around with the opacity until I get what I like. Then I decided, nah, I don't feel like a hoodie, so I went back into the pack and got a sweater shading template instead. So I did the same thing, getting rid of the extra filled in color to match the shading. For this one, there's a neck hole, so I took the eraser and carefully went around the neck hole to- Aw oh man, I messed up. Okay, undo. I reduced the eraser's hardness so the edges were more feathered, or not as hard. And then, I decided we need to do macaroni cheese yellow for this sweater, so I replaced the green with that instead. Then I grabbed my icon logo and dragged that in. This is where you could add a logo you like, or maybe some text, you know, whatever floats your boat. I scaled it down, or made it smaller until I liked it, and positioned it in the upper center of the chest. I was happy with the clothes, so I exported the picture by going to File, Export As, and renaming and saving it where I wanted. Hit Export to confirm. Then I went to the Create page and went to Shirts to upload our new creation. Oh, thanks Roblox, I know what these are. They're two bears. Ugh. This verification system is a piece of sh I went into Roblox Studio and hit play to load in. I copied the shirt ID from the URL and pasted it into my character's shirt's shirt template to replace my current shirt. Hey, that's a nice sweater. Now you know how to use my template pack to layer different shirt combinations together. Here are the other ones I made. I don't care if you end up buying them and supporting me or just steal them. Just wear them around to show your support for the Macaroni Club. That's it for this one. Rate the video. Tell me how you felt. Leave a comment if you want to say or ask something. And please, if you see the same question you're about to ask, give it a thumbs up instead. If you know it, answer it. Let's build an awesome community. And please, share this video. You got it for free and you should pass it along too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thanks fam. See you later.